As all our records are, we approach them as a very much a group effort in, ter in terms of uh, material. We all have ideas for material. We all, um, in this record in particular, we're all bringing an original material. And we organized it in a way that we went on a two week long tour, uh, getting familiarizing ourselves with some new material so that <clears throat> when we got here, we'd be we'd be ready to, ready to just roll, roll tape, as they used to say. Sometimes you make a record before you tour the record, you know, and uh, we've all done that. So this is definitely our first uh, record in, uh, in a studio record in over a decade. So um, we don't have a concept beyond, you know, when we finally have a list of tunes, we try to look at it and make sure that there's a way that it's all going to work together, you know, as a cohesive statement. But this is more of a uh, sort of a glimpse at uh, what we all do as a group and all, also because we're all writing for this record what we do as composers, you know, individually. a few things sort of unrehearsed because uh, it's nice to have to discover some things anew when you're in the studio too it gives it a certain freshness as well so that's always good because it's good to hear for freshness you know in a record rather than something that's over rehearsed In the old days, when we first started making records, we were making it under my name, either my name or Larry Golding's trio. And in terms of uh, really our approach, it's, it's much more of a democratic kind of thing, uh, which is different from your classic organ, guitar, drums trio, where it's very organ-centric. This is different. This is, this is Bill Stewart. You know, he's got an uh, incredibly identifiable sound and personality, as does Peter Bernstein. And when you hear us, that's really what it sounds like. Peter plays a lot of the melodies. We all solo, we all have our own tunes. So that's the way we like it. It's always kind of been that way, except that sometimes it's been called my trio. record I've recorded as a leader, I think, outside of the New York area, you know. It's good. It's always good to have a change of environment, you know. It definitely uh, makes you feel differently. Not being a, in a big, bustling city like New York. Um, and um, I don't think it's better or worse, it's just different. And, and maybe without realizing it, it's bringing something out, out of us. But it's a great, nice new space, good instruments. And that always gave the, the process a different feeling. So I don't know if it's better or worse, but it's nice. Mm -hmm. 